guys, so I wanted to do a haul video today for you. Um, first of all, excuse the fact that I don't know whether any of you will notice, but I was trying to wear my really lightweight foundation, which is the Estee Lauder Invisible Fluid Makeup. I don't know if the light will allow you to see that, but that's what I'm wearing on my skin. And it is <laughs> way too pale for me, but I cannot be bothered to take it off. Um, and it's quite light coverage anyway, so I was hoping that my tan will get through it a little bit. So, sorry about that. If you notice, then I am fully aware of it. And I have actually just ordered a different shade. So, um, on with the haul. I went to Boots. I was very naughty. It's not good, but I did it. And so here we are. So I'll just get on with it for you. Um, I got one of these Max Factor Lip Affinity Lip Colours. And this is a two-step thing. So I got it in the colour 330 Essential Burgundy. It's not burgundy, it's kind of like, it's. it reminds me of um, the Revlon Kissable Balm Stains in the colour Honey. So you apply this, the colour, first, and then you apply this lip balm over the top. Because it's sort of, it stays on your lips, so it's, it kind of, I don't know, it's, quite, it's comfortable to wear. I've tried it already, but this stuff doesn't come off. Um, so that's why it can be quite drying, so you put the balm over the top afterwards. So I bought that in the colour 330 Essential Burgundy. It comes in a packet like this, but I took it out so I could show you. Um, next I picked up the La Roche-Posay Effaclar Duo, which is a really good um, sort of mattifying moisturiser, but really it's more of a spot treatment. So if you have, you know, if you really want to moisturise your skin, I would actually use a moisturiser over the top of this, but this is really good if you've got problem skin. Just do be aware if you are in America, you have a different formulation and it is for a spot on treatment only. In the UK, you put this all over your face. Um, next, I got a spare because I love this stuff and I will love it forever of the um, Maybelline Illegal Length Mascara because I never, ever, ever want to run out of it ever again. Then I got the Bourjois Bronzing Primer. I've heard an awful lot about this lately. It kind of smells like chocolate. And it's supposed to be a dead ringer for the um, Soleil Tan de Chanel, which is the um, Chanel bronzing cream. This smells like chocolate. I, don't, I haven't tried it yet. I just kind of put a little bit on the back of my hand. It smells nice. It feels like a kind of like creamy, moussey texture. I'm hoping that I'll get on really well with it. Um, although this says it's a bronzing primer, I have heard that it's quite orange if you put it underneath your makeup. So what I will be using this as is a cream bronzer, so I'll be applying it with probably a stippling brush of some sort so that I don't pack on too much colour. Uh, but I will let you know how I get on with that. If any of you have used it, then feel free to comment below and tell me what you thought of it. Um, then I got a Kate Moss lipstick in 08 doesn't actually say the Rosetto? I don't know. Um, it looks like this. It's got Kate on it. Packaging's really nice. Um, and this is just a really sort of plain everyday colour. Kind of like a mauvey, rosy, pinky brown. Um, just really easy for castings really. Because you know how I like my boring adult nudie colours for work. Um, then I got two of these new Bourjois Colour Boost Glossy Finish Lipsticks and these are, I'm guessing, going to be very similar to the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains which you know I love, only having swatched these they seem much more glossy and I think it was Zoella was saying that she prefers these because they stain your lips better. So apparently the colour stays on more. Um, they said, it says that SPF 15, which is brilliant, I don't know if you can see that, it might be too shiny, and it says 10 hour wear. Now obviously I haven't tried these yet for a full day, but I did try the colours on, on myself earlier on, um, and they seem really nice. Like really, really glossy, really, really comfortable, it feels like you're wearing a lip balm. So this is the colour Fuchsia Libre, which is a hot pink, because you know how I love my hot pink. Um, and then I got Red Sunrise, because who doesn't like red? So I got both of those, I will let you know how I get on with those also. And then 
because I have a nail polish addiction, I went and got four nail polishes, three of which are from Essie and all very similar, but I'm obsessed with peachy coral at the moment. So this one is the only one that is not sort of of that colour. Um, and this is called Navy Seal 411 and it's one of the Rimmel Pro, Rimmel Salon Pro with Lycra finish ones that come in that cool little bottle. It's just a really nice, uh, I thought it would be a good work colour, obviously, because I love to buy things for work. Um, but it's just kind of an expensive colour, but it's a colour, if you get what I mean. Um, then I got three Essie nail polishes. I got, what is this called? Too Too Hot. My nails are bare right now, so I'm sorry. This is a really nice kind of corally, pillar boxy-ish red colour. And then I got Peach de Curie, which is a peachy coral. I'm hoping that my camera picks up these colours because they're really pretty. Is it going to focus? There we go. And then I got Cute as a Button which is very similar to Peach de Curie, but I will hold them against each other. One is more peachy and a little bit lighter, and the other is more darker and a little bit more pinky coral. So I hope that you can see the difference. Um, one of the last things I got, I got two hair things. And the first hair thing is this cylindrical, is that a word? Yes, it is, um, brush from Remington, which I thought would be really good for blow drying my hair, you know? So hopefully, it's got um, it's got those sort of bristle brushes, so it's, it's good for sort of getting volume in your hair. Um, and the last thing I got is a little bit sad, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I got it because it has my face on it. Does it look like me? Can you tell? I bought a straightener. <laughs> How sad is that? Um, I wanted a new straightener and I did a job fabulous not very long ago, obviously when my hair was a little bit lighter, and I did the straightener, the hair dryer, and the Babyliss big hair, which many of you may have seen this, in, uh, uh, this picture on Instagram of me going like this, because I'm sad. Um, so they gave me this one which really was very nice of them because despite you know people thinking that us models get tons of free stuff we absolutely do not we have to hand everything back because they're all samples so um, they actually let me keep this one because I'd been using it to do a video for them so it had been used they couldn't sell it or anything anyway they said oh which which product do you want I said can I have the one with my face on it please so I got this this is out now it's the Babyliss Big Hair 2 the new Big Hair sorry it's got different speed settings on it. Um, and I thought, oh, I'll just have a look at the hair section because I actually need a new hair dryer as well because my TK Maxx one is not going so well for me at the moment. And I thought that because I'm kind of excited that I'm on a hair box that I would, um, I would buy the new hair dryer. But the hair dryer wasn't there. So I bought the straightener instead. And it's actually a really nice colour. I've actually just used the straightener <laughs> to straighten my hair. So, um, if you feel like buying anything with my face on it, then I thoroughly recommend the straightener, it's very nice, and it has me on it. So, despite the fact that that's a little bit sad, I thought I'd share that all with you, plus I thought if I had seen that it was out and I didn't buy one, my mum would freak that she wanted one, so I thought I'd just, <laughs> I'd do it, get it over with. And also, I thought it was kind of cool, really, and as I needed a new straightener, and I know it works because they used it on the shoot, um, that I would do it, and it's a really nice colour, check that out. In fact, I used it just now, and you get a little um, handbag with it, and it comes with one of these, which is good for, you know, not burning the surfaces that you are using, and um, it's a really nice colour. There's this kind of fancy gold bit here, um, you turn it on, you've got the uh, heat settings, the turn on button, turn off button. And it's really pretty. I just like the colour, to be honest. And then I saw it was me, and I thought, okay, I have to have it. So, um, I thought that 
I would just show you all the things that I had bought and I hope you're having a lovely day. That was a little bit rambly, I'm a little bit out of practice with filming. I don't know why, I've just been a bit all over the place lately. Um, I've been in Devon this week shooting for um, Jules, who we love. They're a lovely, lovely bunch to work for. Um, we always have good fun and generally I have to play mum um, because they're a sort of family brand. Do lots of nice like wellies with bows on and like beautiful like sort of patterns inside things and like barber jackets and things like that. They're sort of a, a more countryfied brand. They do some really nice knitwear as well. So I had a fake husband and two young children and um, obviously we were shooting the Christmas stuff which was really good fun. But we had to have fake snow. And the people, the snow company, the fake fake snow company, um, they were the ones that did all of the set for the film The Holiday. So how cool is that? So I got to um, basically have a fake Christmas for a couple of days, which was really good fun. So um, if any of you are watching, thank you for picking me again. I had a lovely time. Um, so I thought I'd just give you a little update and show you some bits that I bought and show you that I was on a hair box. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, sorry it's a little bit rambly, a bit out of practice, um, been quite busy lately, promise I will sort of get my act together, I think I've lost the plot a little bit this week, so um, yeah, I hope you're all well, and I will see you in the next one, okay, bye!